This is Max from Include Security, and today I'm going to show you how we were able to find the location of any Tinder user. So Tinder is a very popular location-aware dating app, um, and it shows you potential matches that are near you. You can like or note a match, and if you and a ma match both like each other, you're able to chat with them. Uh, we found a way to get the exact latitude and longitude coordinates of any Tinder user. So we reported this vulnerability to Tinder in October of 2013, and we've confirmed that the issue was fixed by January of 2014. So I'm going to show you a video of the exploit in action, um, and we recorded this video when it was still vulnerable, um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it works. So for each of your matches, uh, Tinder shows you how far away they are. Um, in the user interface, you'll see something like Sally is three miles away. Uh, what we found is that Tinder is actually sending really, really exact distances to the client. So you'd have, instead of being three miles, it'd be 3.1275 with many decimal points. Um, and what we did is we built an app that helps you triangulate Tinder users by measuring the distance to them uh, from three points in the city where they are. So this is Tinder Finder. Um, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So the first thing that I can do is I can find myself. So I live in Toronto, and I'm gonna choose the city of Toronto, just kind of center it around downtown. Um, and then I'm gonna give it access to my Facebook just so that I could know my Tinder user ID. So later I'll show you how to do this for any Tinder user. Uh, we're gonna start with just my, um, my account. So after I log in through Facebook, um, I have to authorize my Tinder Finder app to um, access my account. And then I will get um, a location for myself. And here it is. And that um, marker on the map is actually the location of the co-working space that I work out of. Um, so it's very, very accurate. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to do this with any Tinder user. And what we're going to do is we're going to find them by their Tinder ID. So the Tinder ID is um, something that you can find out for users that you're browsing by um, doing something like proxying your phone's traffic um, and looking at the IDs that they have. So I've written down um, a couple uh, Tinder IDs for some users that we created. I'm going to paste in one for um, Anthony and he lives in New York, in Brooklyn. So, I'm gonna get the map centered around um, Brooklyn, New York. And there he is, and that is the location where that phone was. So, that's how this vulnerability works, and um, Tinder has uh, fixed this, and they've followed our recommendations for how to mitigate it and this is no longer possible to do. Uh, but that's just a demo of what we were able to do. And I hope you enjoyed it.